Hey, welcome back. Hey. So, turns out we don't have to go down that path yet. Most of all, at first, we can't even do yet. So. Yeah, you need to be pretty much level 20. You, you want to be level 30 just to be safe. And you need Surf and Strength and you can catch Lapras on Fridays. Woo! And we can do that today because it's not the right day also. Yeah. And Breaking the fourth wall. Item there. Well, our in-game uh, clock is what decides. Ooh, Sandshrew. I That's a, want Sandshrew. I like that sprite. Like, I'm not going to use it. Like, I'm not planning on using it because it's working for my spell. No, but I want one. Wow, yeah, Sandshrew's awesome. I love it. I freaking love Sandshrew. I mean, it wouldn't be too bad to use for now. It's got pretty good defense. Yeah, no, we're, we're pretty much done with this cave shortly. And then there's other stuff to do coming up. Get in the fucking Pokeball. Nope. Maybe like two more and it should be good. I still want to accidentally kill it. Crits. I think even a crit shouldn't take it out. Yeah. There we go. Wait, is crit 200 damage or 150? Uh, in, from gens 1 through 5, it's double damage. Mm -hmm. Uh, 6 on is, uh, point, uh, 1.5 damage. Okay. However, they are, the crits are more frequent now. So that's why they reduced it. Woot! Okay, Sandshrew's name. Gotta figure out a name for it. Peter. So. P. Tier, you said? Peter. P tier. Okay. That makes very little sense. Yeah. You do. Uh, okay. P tier, the sand crew. Oh, that's a surprise trainer. Oh, what's he going? Oh, he's a fucking fire breather. <laughs> fire breather Ray sent out a Vulpix. I like it because it looks like Vulpix is wearing shoes or socks. <laughs> it does actually. I don't know why it's funny to me, but it is. Look at it, it's wearing socks. No, it's those little boots, it's those little rubber boots that you put yeah. on dogs so they can go outside. Little booties. So it doesn't get wet, which is a good thing. But I don't think those booties are gonna help. Oh, okay. I can pull these vault picks on the team. Yeah. Sucks. It just sucks because they're generally kind of rare. Bandit. Mm. I'm soft resetting for my Raikou event, and I've gotten literally everything but the nature I want. <laughs> I'm on probably go number 30 right now. Oh, freaking hell berry is, yes. It's a prison cure berry. Back when uh, they knew the names of what they wanted to use, but they didn't factor in. Oh, hey, we should allow more text. Uh, I, don't know. I don't know if that's a limitation on the hardware itself. But yeah, that fun fact. That's why. No, I'm... I just left the cave. You're not allowed to follow me. Fun fact. That's why Froliator's name is spelled weird. They couldn't fit. Uh, the I think I think it should be an O, like Froligate or. But they couldn't fit that, so they just got rid of the vowel and just threw the R right after the T. And that's really? why, yep, that's why it's spelled like that. Wow. And if you look at it, it's uh, F E R G A T L R. Wait, you think should others have or, tackle on it? Oh, that's not even close. Uh, I think it should still be just tackle. 
I don't think it gets rock throw until at least level 14. Okay. Let's bank on that. This might take a while. Yeah, especially because ghost counts as, uh, physical. Really? Yep. Ghost counts as physical and dark counts as special. Oh, it does have rock throw. Potato, I trusted you. What? Hey, I, I barely play Gen 2. Yeah, but I trusted you. <laughs> but I barely play Gen 2. It's only three levels off, though, so that's yeah, not too bad. I'm kind of overusing my um, starter a bit, because... Well, I end up in an area with a bunch of rocky ground types. You're supposed to overuse your starter, though. Yeah, well, you know me, I abandoned my starter in Ultra, man. Mm-hmm. It was like, that one kid who's like, Oh, that was my grandfather's, uh, whatchamacallit, Decidueye, or whatever the hell it was. It wasn't even Decidueye, it was a Dartrix. Yeah. And it's like, bitch, please, I don't even have that on my team anymore. Mm-hmm. Catch off. So... I dropped it off at, at the orphanage and left. I'm trying to remember what he's fighting. <laughs> well Flying and Psychic. Let's see if Eileen can actually do something before that. <coughs> Ooh. The um, Machop's enemy sprite looks weird. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, it does not look right. It, it looks like a small child, seriously. Maybe that is his child. Jesus. Uh, actually, realistically, uh, Amy Winehouse won't get hurt at all. Unless it has foresight, which I don't, I don't know if it might. Well, fuck you anyways. Yeah. Wait, I can't do anything to it though, can I? Lick hurts it. Let's try to PP. Oh, I saw this. Nope. Uh, Normal. ghost is only immune. Or, er, the only type immune to ghost is normal. Oh, okay. I don't know what I thought fighting was too. Yeah, fighting is the weird one where it's essentially normal, but a little stronger. Because I always viewed normal and fighting as... Okay, well, fighting should have the same weaknesses as normal, because it has... This, because go er, both don't hurt Ghost, mm -hmm. but it's completely separate. Of course, that's when I was like... Seven. Mm -hmm. Oh, mean luck. Now they can't switch. That's like you useful for the roaming legendaries. Oh yeah. That's a, that's the only use it really has, at least in the story. Well, even back then a lot of people played versus each other. Yeah, that's true. That's more the advanced strategy where it's like, oh yeah, Wait, no. Do I have to fight this fucker? I don't think you fight him. Yeah, so you you go into the city, uh, you talk to one of the older guys. Isn't it Kurtz in here? Yeah, Kurt, uh... Oh, yeah, it's the mark. I want the... So, yeah, you talk to Kurt, and he's the one that kicks the one guy down the drain. Or the but sewer. he hurts his back. Yeah, he falls down, and he's like, Oh, my back! I forgot I'm old! You, young child I just met, you venture into this cave alone and take on this criminal organization by yourself, with nothing but your battle pets. <laughs> God. Pokemon logic at its best. Yep. All these adults, yet they send this kid that they've never met to go deal with uh, an actual crime syndicate who is in trouble because they are mutilating Pokemon to sell their parts for uh, increased profits. It's kind of fucked up. Yeah. It's kind of like how Pokemon has gotten progressively darker with some of its things. Actually, it's gotten progressively lighter in some areas. Definitely some areas, yeah. The Veilstone myths? Oh my god. There's a lot of messed up stuff. Okay, I think everyone just go tell me that um, all the uh, Slowpoke are missing. Yeah. Maybe we should talk to that fucker who tried to sell me a tail. And if you got enough cash, go for it. Oh my god. What would you do with a million dollars? Buy a Slowpoke tail. Okay, there's... Oh, I can't do the gym until I do nope. that. Nope. Yeah, you, you gotta clear out Slowpoke well. Uh, fine. Uh, up. No, I'm just checking to see oh, if okay. there's someone down there I can talk to. 
You go into Ilex Forest, that's where you can get Celebi if you have Spiky Ear Pichu. Which is kinda it's kinda sad because uh Spiky Ear Pichu's forever damned onto uh the gold silver crystal since you can't transfer up to gen three on the original games. Mm -hmm. So Spiky Ear Pichu is forever stuck on those games. And as well when they brought it Actually, is Spiky Ear Pichu... No, Spiky Ear Pichu is not in Gen 2. Sorry. Because, yeah, they had a different event, I'm pretty sure. But in Gen 4, they had the Spiky Ear Pichu, and you could not transfer Spiky Ear Pichu up into Gen 5. Even though there was a sprite made for it in Gen 5. Well, career is on his way. I kind of wonder if he was a badass when he was younger at all, or if he was always this kind of dopey guy. He's an old man playing with some balls. Well, what do you do With his point? little kid in the same room. Well, I always thought of it that way, but I wasn't going to say it out loud. Hey there! I can't move. Oh, I'm paralyzed. Anyone want to make a life player joke? Potato? I've fallen, and I can't get up. Do you think Kerr's like the poster boy for life alert in the Pokemon region? Oh, probably. I I'm actually impressed that he survived falling down that well. So I don't know how deep wells are, but I know they can go pretty deep. So the fact that he fell, landed on his back, and... I don't know, this doesn't seem like it's a literal well. It might have been one, like, years ago, but... Maybe, yeah. A literal well would have water everywhere in the bottom. Yeah. my understanding of wells. I mean, oh, that's right, because yeah. he's normal. Fuck. Oh, yeah. I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, no, let's go back. Uh, Eileen needs some levels. Yeah, I think Eileen's gonna be uh, pretty clutch coming on up here. Because mm. I don't have fire to deal with bugs. Eh, well, having that flying type is really nice. Because I think the Scyther has Fury Cutter, which you will resist. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, fucking quick attack. Yeah, this to me a real bitch. That's what I like with Pidgey, because at least Pidgey gets quick attack. They crit me instead. Typical. That's all I can say. Actually, yeah, I should switch out. Yeah, I don't think you can keep up to that. Um, honestly, Sir Splash might be your best bet because I just don't want to get too over leveled though. Well, just take out this one, Balx. At least then the XP is split. Yeah. That's a good point. And he's got barely any, so that should be fine. No, I just hate overleveling uh, one of my Pokemon. Yeah, I know, I know what you mean. I like to try to keep a balanced team whenever I can, but then post game when it's just nothing but training, I'll have like four level hundreds and then like two level twenties. Yeah, that happens. So I'm just trying to grind them up. I really hope Pokemon Switch has a good area to grind in. Like, if they bring something back, like, uh, Black and White 2's White Tree Hollow in Black City, mm -hmm. that'd be perfect. Those are the best areas to train. Along with the, uh... Wasn't she Jesse's rival in the anime as a Rocket member? Yes. I and for some reason she had a grudge against Jesse over a fucking bottle of juice. Yeah. I forgot what her name was, though. Idiot. Because there was a guy, too, with them. It wasn't like James and him like not giving a shit about each other because it's like I think so because they were kind of the same because Jesse like when you see Jesse and James uh, Jesse's kind of the leader of them James is just there because he doesn't yeah. want to go home yeah which in fairness he has good reasons not to go home yeah exactly 
I mean, the only reason to go home is to see his Growlithe. Yeah. God, it's actually really sad seeing how nice GMs can be when he's not with Team Rocket. Yeah. So, like, that's life for him, though. Yeah. He's just, either we go home and I'll go home and get forced to be married, or, um, and. Or I'd never go home and never see his Pokemon again. Yeah. I think it'd be neat if they actually had an arc of him going home with his parents dropping that bullshit and seeing what life becomes. That'd be pretty interesting. Yeah, kind of like his little side thing. Like maybe do it like a. Oh, that's a weird looking Ekans. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Ekans, I think you got into uh, some hard narcotics there. Thing, it definitely did. Us. I mean, I, I know that they still had limited colors to work with, but the facial expression does not help that. The whole what the I hell? always feel like I can should be partially coiled. This tail looks a little messed up to me too. Like just the way it bends downwards and back well, up. Even it's like in the midsection, that curve there just does not look natural. It, it doesn't. Like, I, like I feel like they're like what they try to do is make it look like it. How it curves behind, it comes back up front. But mm -hmm. the way they did it, you can't even see it. Yeah. And hey, Jeremy, before you go bullshit, snakes can look like that. I'm just going to tell you, a bullshit. I have snakes in my house. I have a lot of snakes. I don't think they're supposed to bend that way. No, that's weird. That's a drawing of my son who's never seen a snake before. <laughs> no, but I I think know a bit about snakes. My house has four of them. Can we just embrace Slowpoke's face? <laughs> I love it. It just goes. It's not the most Slowpoke face they could have given that. I need it. Yeah. Get it. Oh, does that have any psychic type moves yet? Uh, I think it starts with Water Gun, and I think it gets Confusion coming up, like really soon. Okay, I'll do Kalister Splash. And tap it down. Let's see. Your trusty friend Google. Scratch, sorry. I forgot to scratch on tackle before we throw it out. So, and it gets what? Okay, actually, it only knows tackle. Tackle, growl, and curse. Mm -hmm. It gets water gun at 15, confusion at 20. Eventually gets headbutt at 34, then psychic at 48. That might be worth keeping on my team, actually. It gets amnesia at 43, disable at 29. You can teach it surf, you can teach it zap cannon. So what you're saying is I should put on my team. Yeah. And have two arts. You can give it dream eater, although it doesn't get hypnosis. I don't know, I'll try throwing a great ball at it. Oh crap, I have to think of a name now. Uh, oh, it looks kinda of stone, so why don't I call him Cheech? Or should I go with Chong? Which one is the more, uh, feminine name? Chong. I'm going with Chong. Good old Chong. Hello, Chong. And I probably spelled it wrong either way. Chong's got some moves. Fucking forward. <laughs> yep. I'll go get you from Bill's PC after I drop off the sand true. Honestly, I would love it if someone made like a a slowpoke figure that looked just like that and just the head moved back and forth. Oh my god. Almost like a perpetual motion inside mm -hmm. that triggered its head to move back and forth like that. Mm -hmm. And that's it, just, just leave it at that. Pull a battery power motor and then just to move its head back and yeah. forth. I want to say it only has normal type moves. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Fuck. I'm keeping an idiot. <laughs> Do I even have the move to make it so I can use ghost type on him? Actually, I don't. Nope. Because that move does not exist. Oh, really? I thought there was one. Uh, you might be thinking of uh, foresight, but that allows normal type moves to be. normal and fighting moves to hurt uh, ghost types. And actually, Beep Beep needs a level up. 
Yeah. Oh, for reference, this is May absolutely good, but when I got BB, I kept telling him not to play the fucking song, but I would put man BB beep beep for him. The second we cut it. Beep, beep, like a sheep, beep, beep, like a sheep. Yeah, he started playing this fucking song. Yeah. So if his voice gotten uh, deeper, it's because I strangled him for a while. It was a little hard on the vocal cords, eh, Potato? Yeah, a what did bit. you learn from that? Beep, beep, like a sheep? <laughs> you motherfucker. I got a problem with that. Not with motherfucking in general, you know, which to each their own. <laughs> but being an asshole, yes. That's just my job, though. Oh. What was the one thing you did with the one uh, snake in D&D that suddenly popped out of the ground and started singing? I forgot what happened, actually. <laughs> Liam referenced oh, the yeah. meme song, and suddenly you put on the song instead of a snake came popping on the ground singing it. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, it was horrible. <laughs> you and your fucking fire snakes. Yeah. That's a very little amount of slowpoke for cutting off slowpoke tails to make money. Yeah, I mean, you caught one. If anything, catching the slowpoke means you rescued it. Yay! I get to justify my animal abuse. Yeah. I never needed to before. That sounds horrible, actually. <laughs> uh, does smog, does smog just lower my thing or does it poison me? Uh, smog weakens you ever so slightly, but. It also has a chance to poison you. Okay. Damn. Well, I paralyzed him. So my next goal is to s can I sleep and paralyze someone at the same time? Uh, no. Okay, then I'll switch out. The only status conditions that can go on top of others is confusion and uh, mm -hmm. infatuation. I'm so used to other video games where you could just screw around with that and do like 20 minutes status on this or something. Yeah. Like, do you know how many teams I've made like that in video games? Oh, yeah. Where it's like, I hit you, it's like, ha, you did no base damage. Yes, but now you're poisoned, burned, frozen, and, uh, paralyzed. Have fun, bitch. Oh, also, you're asleep. I can only imagine how, uh, broken I'd be in Pokemon. Yeah, well, everyone would just be running all those. Pretty much, yeah. And everyone would be trying to, uh, counter with that one, um, kangaroo mushroom thing. <laughs> So they can get the thing where it gets its power up when it's under the ailment. Well, it, uh, for Breloom, mm -hmm. uh, what it gets is poison heal. So if it's poisoned, it regains health instead. Yeah, but then isn't there a move it can use that it does more damage when it's under its gas ailment? Uh, well, anything can anything that learns facade. Yeah. So people would be running Breloom facade and a bunch of other shit facade. Yeah, this point is only. I mean. You could also have something that has like natural cures so when you swap out, it regains, uh, like it goes back to being healthy again. Yeah. Oh, right, your back's better now. Yeah, yeah, no, after all the hard work is done. Like, it could just be that. He is an old guy, you know. Yeah. He probably popped some meds back there. <sighs> I like your style. I'm gonna make you balls. Oh, cool, I got Lure Ball. I feel bad for Kurt, though, because, like, these were so awesome when they came out, but because of all the other Pokeballs they made, all his balls kind of suck now in comparison. Yeah, there, there really is no reason to use his balls. Yeah. I mean, Except for appearance. Yeah, exactly. That, that's literally the only reason. And I feel bad for him, because he was, like, the OG uh, alternate Pokeball guy with different effects. Yeah. And then oh, Gen okay. 3 came around, and they had, like, oh... We have the dive ball, which is better than the lure ball in every single way that's possible. So sorry, Kurt. You know we like you. We like what you add to the games, but you got shafted, and we're sorry about that. Yeah, I kind of like how they brought back the apricorn balls in uh, Sun and Moon. I think they should boost their abilities though, or they should uh, declare that, um, or they should come up with some new pokeballs and claim that they're um, new apricorn uh, apricorn balls. That'd be like pretty Kurt. cool. Give Kurt some clout again. I feel so bad for him. Yeah. Okay, but we've done enough giving pity to Kurt, you know? 
So we're all call a day. Thank you for joining us. Thanks. And fuck off, I guess. Yeah. Have fun.